Hi, I'm Kirsten Romero, the Registered Dietitian with Senior Services of Southeastern Virginia. And we're back today in Cooking from My Pantry. Today, I'm going to talk about an excellent breakfast option that comes right from my pantry. I think it's really important to let everyone know how very important breakfast is. A lot of times people say, oh, I don't need breakfast. I'm not hungry in the morning. I can skip breakfast. It's not that important. I don't have to do it. Um, lots of research has shown that breakfast is a great way to start the day. It doesn't have to be immediately upon waking. It can be a little bit after you've been awake, maybe after you've had some coffee or tea, but it is important to have some breakfast and get your metabolism going. And studies have shown that when people start the day with a healthy breakfast, they tend to eat healthier throughout the day. Maybe it's because they started as they meant to go on. They started off healthy and they meant to keep being healthy. Maybe it's because they didn't get too starving so that the first thing they ate later on in the day, they ended up overeating. I'm not really sure and I'm not sure that research is definite on that, but what I do know is that eating a healthy breakfast is important and I'm going to show you some easy ways to cook it right from your pantry. So my cooking option is actually not cooking at all. Um, I'm going to show you how to make overnight oats. I know I've talked before about the importance of fiber. Fiber is amazing for making you feel full. Fiber that's found in oats is also amazing for reducing uh, your risk of heart disease because it helps to lower cholesterol. Helps you to stay regular, tastes great, easy to make, shelf stable for a long time in your pantry too. So I'm gonna make some overnight oats using these. Um, we won't be cooking at all, so that makes it easy. It's great for meal prep. Uh, it's great to have things in the, in the refrigerator that you can use later on down the road so that you go for this healthy option versus something else. And it's such a versatile recipe. And I'll post all the different options on our website. So the first one I'm going to do uh, starts off with a half cup of oats, which I've already measured. Um, I had to use the jars that I had available. This is actually a mustard jar, Grey Poupon. Um, it's clean and I'm going to use it for my healthy overnight oats. Um, so it's got a half a cup of the oats in it. And then it's wonderful if you have, and if you can add some chia seeds. Chia seeds contain protein. They're also a rich source of omega-3 fats. They're so healthy for your heart, also healthy for your brain. Um, and they also pack some fiber in them as well. So I'm going to put a, just under a tablespoon of chia seeds into this jar with a half cup of oats. So I'll dump that in. And then you can use anywhere from a half a cup to about two thirds of a cup, even up to a full cup if you like your oats with a little bit more liquid. Um, and I'm using skim milk because it's what we have in our pantry. But I know a lot of people uh, like to drink altern alternative milks, whether it be soy milk, rice milk, oat milk, um, almond milk, cashew milk. There's so many out there. Any of those will work. Honestly, it doesn't have to be cow's milk. That's just what I have here in my pantry. So we're going to add that into the jar. And by the way, I forgot to mention, this is a 16 ounce jar. I actually bought um, eight ounce jars. They're too small. You won't have enough room because these are going to expand. Um, and then I have another one over here. that's also 16 ounces. Okay. So this is just a base. You could go anywhere from here. Um, but I'm going to go with something that sounds good to me. I have some fresh blueberries and blueberries are kind of sturdy and they'll hold up. So even if they sit all night in this jar, they're not gonna get soggy. So I'm just gonna throw them right on top here. Um, I have about a half a cup here. I'm probably using more than I need, but that's okay. It'll be a great healthy breakfast in the morning. Nice and hearty. And then I have um, some chopped walnuts that have been in my fridge. Keeps them fresh longer. And I'm gonna throw about a tablespoon of those in here as well. And I think it might need a little bit of sweetener. So I have some Lovely local honey here. And this is of course gonna be hard to get a small amount, but I'm gonna get, it's probably about a teaspoon. And I'm gonna put that in there. Well, now honey's a gooey mess, but tastes great. Okay, oh, I'm gonna have one more thing. I'm gonna put a little shake of cinnamon, because I think cinnamon would taste delicious. Okay, a little shake of cinnamon in there. This is really how easy it is. Put the lid on. I'm gonna shake it up, because I know the lid's on there tight. 
and then I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Talk about easy, okay. So that is my first version of overnight notes, okay. Then I wanted to show you another one. Really, you can be all kinds of creative, do whatever you want. So I've got my other jar here. I've got my half cup of oats. Um, you can use quick cooking oats or just the traditional overnight, uh, or I'm sorry, the traditional rolled oats. Um, whichever one you use is up to you. I think that the rolled oats um, might do a little bit better uh, than the quick cook ones because the quick cook ones have already been processed, so they'll absorb more liquid. Maybe if you use those, use a little bit less liquid, okay? I'm only gonna use half a cup of milk on this one because I know where I'm going with this. I am going to add some peanut butter. And I think since I'm adding the peanut butter, I've got enough of that sweetness. Even though this peanut butter doesn't have any sweeter in it, um, I tasted it and I know that it has like a nice sweet flavor to it. So I don't think I need any more sweetness than what's gonna be in my oats from the peanut butter. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of that. And then the last thing, I'm gonna add some chia seeds to this as well. Why not make them more healthy? The other neat thing about chia seeds is they absorb liquid and um, they will make this have an even more thick, like creamy texture um, when they're done in the morning. And we're gonna come back and show you the finished product, of course, and we're gonna taste them. So we'll be back again tomorrow with this, but I think that's all I'm gonna put in here. Um, in my dream, there was gonna be some, um, some beautiful bananas to put in this, but not going to the store much, and I did a uh, curbside order, and my bananas are so green, I think they would give me a stomach ache. So it's just gonna be peanut butter. Um, it's just gonna be peanut butter and the chia and the oats and the milk. I think it'll still be tasty. Um, a little side, a little aside, if you want to add other fruits, strawberries are great. They taste great in, um, in overnight oats as well. I actually added some to my oats last week. Um, I wouldn't put them in the night before because they do have more liquid in them and they'll release liquid into it and they might get mushy. So like in the morning, if I decide that I want to put strawberries on this with my peanut butter, I could just cut some fresh strawberries and put it on. And maybe in the morning my bananas won't be as green and I could even add those at the end, but I would have added bananas ahead of time um, if they hadn't been so green. Um, other things that might be great would be um, like frozen berries, like uh, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. They're a little bit, um, they're less, they're, they're less full of water. So you can put those in the night before and you can always, you know, you can always add your food at the end. You know, you can add that in too. Um, I pulled out some other things that I have in my kitchen that would be amazing in the oats. Um, uh, maple syrup could have been my sweetener of choice instead of the honey, but honey would taste great. Um, instead of chia seeds, you could add some sunflower seeds. You could add in some, um, pumpkin seeds. Instead of that tablespoon of uh, walnuts, I could have added in almonds. I wish I had uh, like dried cherries. Raisins would be great too. Um, there are just so many things I, that you can do. And I'll list a whole bunch of options on our website with our recipe. But the next step is the easiest one of all. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. They're gonna sit all night and then we're gonna see how they taste tomorrow. Okay, and we'll talk about uh, different ways you can use them. They make a great snack. It tastes good hot or cold, and I'll talk about that when we come back tomorrow and we give them a little taste and see how they are. Thank you so much, and we'll see you once the overnight oats have had their night. Okay, and we're back in my kitchen and cooking for my pantry. So um, I have the two different overnight oats that I made. This one here is the one that I made with blueberries and walnuts. So I'm just gonna give it a stir. And this one looks like it's just the right consistency for me. So I'll just stir it up and then I can taste it. Um, you can eat it right out of the refrigerator cold. And then you can also eat it, um, heat it up a little bit in the microwave. And I would put it in for about 30 seconds to a minute. You maybe test it at 30 seconds, see if it's warm enough. Uh, you don't want to run your mouth. And because it's in a jar that's microwave safe, I can eat it right out of the jar. And um, I'm gonna give a little taste right now. Mmm, that's really good. I think I might like it hot, but it's really, it's good right now. So just make a great breakfast or a great snack. And then the other one um, I made with peanut butter and 
I remember I was talking about a ripe banana and it looks like I have one here. That's not too, too ripe, but you know what? It's, it's enough, it's ripe enough that we can eat it. Or I can eat it. And I'm going to go ahead and just mash this up and then I'm gonna add it to the other jar. So this will be a peanut butter banana overnight oats. Okay. So, I'm gonna put this all in here. And I'm gonna mix it in. And this will also give it some moisture because this one's not, doesn't have as much liquid as the other one. And that's just a preference. So you can always add um, more milk once it comes out if you want to. And that peanut butter in there. Oh, this is gonna be so yummy. I'm just gonna mix it all up. You can see that obviously the uh, oats absorbed all of the liquid here. And then once it's all mixed up, just take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I think that's my favorite. Um, but just remember there are lots of different ways that you can make these overnight oats, and I have posted some of uh, the really popular different flavors that you can concoct um, with the, uh, the base recipe. And you really can play with it. If you find that this is just too dry for you, add some more milk. Uh, if you find that it's got too much moisture, add less milk next time. Um, try it hot, try it cold. You know, just based on your mood. If it's a hot summer day, you might want to eat it cold, but in the middle of winter, you might enjoy eating it hot. So try this at home. It's a great way to get a lot of fiber, a good filling breakfast. Um, it's super inexpensive and you just use whatever's in your pantry. I did not buy anything for this. Um, this is also very hot. Oats keep forever. Um, and then the dried fruit and, uh, you know, the, the jar of peanut butter and the nuts and things. You can extend the life of the nuts by keeping them in the fridge. Um, but the peanut butter, we go through it. We go through it fast enough, almond butter, uh, soy butter. And um, then we also have sunflower butter that we like a lot. We go through this pretty quickly, um, but even if you don't, they, they have a good long shelf life. Um, so try these out at home. I hope you like them. I hope you like how easy it is and how nutritious it is and how filling it is, and it'll stay with you for a long time. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time when we cook it for my pantry.